hello my good people welcome back to my channel how are you this is your girl mona j the visionary entrepreneur um a friend of mine sent me this video he's like oh watch the video um uh, i just came across this video i watched it and i feel like it's very helpful and me myself i'm i'm about to apply the same methods and then when i watched it i was like hmm this girl is making some good sense so i was like you know what maybe the message hasn't gotten to my own people so let me use this girl idea to educate our people as well if i say our people i'm talking about liberian but this is a worldwide thing africans okay africans abroad who have families back home that we sent money to hmm? some of us will work three jobs two jobs just to be able to pay our expenses and then to have enough to send back home for somebody child tuition for rent and their feedings why and half of those people you're doing those things for they don't care half of them don't care so i have great examples to use to educate our people here abroad we're killing ourselves to make sure to meet those people needs back home not those people rather but our family needs back home and some of them can actually do something for themselves and half of them are refusing to work refusing to help you that are even helping them paying their tuition their children tuition helping them themselves pay their bills and put food on their table and half of the time those people when you ask them to help you they will not help you ask any of them to run an errand for you oh i don't have copy oh i don't have transportation you will have to send a transportation even if it's a short distance where they will spend the five red five dollar ld we're making those people lazy those who are already lazy, we're helping them to be lazy. Because half of them, they don't want to do anything. Yes, there's no job. I mean, there's jobs in Africa. You can sit down. The job will not walk to you. You got to go out and seek. Even if it take you months, but at least your family will know that you are trying your best to get a job. But you can't complain and complain and complain about government. They don't have a job. They don't have this. If they don't have a job, find a contract somewhere. Well, however, you will not. Those abroad here, paying your rent, paying your children's tuition, putting food on your table, and people who are doing those stuff for y'all, if they have a project for y'all to take your own time to go on the person project site you will not do it even even if they ask you to run an errand the first thing you guys will say oh there's no transportation even though that person that person sent you money two days ago you will still say there's no transportation really and some of us are dying over here to help you if someone sent you money two days ago and then they forgot there's something they want you to go on their purchase site to check it out. And the first thing that come out of your mouth is, I don't have transportation. Same as if they send your money, even if extra is left. Because they didn't specify. They didn't specify as in the money that I'm sending you is for your child tuition, whatever that is left, using and buy food. You guys will still ask for full money. Why? I don't blame you. Half of the people in here, they're making it so easy. They're making it sound or seem to you that a miracle is very easy. Very, very easy. Me here, I don't even sleep at home. I leave my house 8 a.m. before I come back. It's 1 a.m. Every day. That's Monday, actually Sunday to Thursday. That is my schedule. We will do everything we can here to send money home to help a uncle, my 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 dad, 
brother, my mom, sister, and their children, their niece, their nephew, their this, their that. We're sending money to all those people. In the end, there's nothing, no results. Year round, y'all keep doing that. And they don't want to work. Even if there's no job, even if there's no jobs in Africa, if there's no job in Liberia, when your brother have a project going on, your sister have project, you say no work. Oh, how? How? Y'all won't work in the government. However, you not know nothing like myself. Me and I even go to school. Y'all don't know nothing like myself. But y'all won't work in the government. You want blue tie, or red tie, or yellow tie, color, color, whatever jobs. White color. I think that, yeah, white color job. You don't know nothing like myself. You want white color job. If y'all say no jobs, how? Especially some of you who have your family here who are undertaking projects back home. Projects back home. If your brother have a project, those people who are leaving their house to go on your brother project site or your sister, your mom, your dad project site and you don't go there. But you say you don't have money, you don't have food. If you go there, you don't think they will help you? You don't think they will buy you food? Let somebody see you doing something. Show interest on what they are doing. You don't sit back. You don't do nothing. But you want somebody to be sending you full money. So when this my friend, he made great sense. So he said that one of my friends, he's always asking me to send him money. His daughter, not in school. Or he's trying to get tuition for his daughter. But then he's asking his friend to send him money. For his daughter tuition and his friend telling him my man if you're not doing anything why you can't go on my project site you think if you're doing something on my project site that i won't help you i'll be able to help you but you can just sit down you not want to do nothing then you want me to send you money for for your child tuition you'll say no job but people around you have things they're doing that you can actually get involved Oh, but where's your, where's your, where's your house again? You don't know the same thing. Half of my family don't even know where my land is. I'm not sure whether it's, actually it's a good thing. It's okay. They don't know. My sister and I in Morovia there. They don't know where my land at, where people are working for me. They don't know. They don't know how to get there. They don't care. But guess what? I had to feed them. I had to pay their children tuition, which I stopped a long time ago. They want you to do all these things, but they don't even care what you are doing. Anything you're doing is none of their business or oh, it's not theirs, so they don't care. But we should work here and kill ourselves and send them money. For what? That is not love. That's making somebody lazy. Some of you, yes, are lazy and some of some of those people that work extremely hard, especially those people who are working on the project, like building houses, they're working extremely hard. And half of you who have family here, who have families abroad, sending your money and you're just relaxed. If money don't go there, you don't have food to eat. But you can't help your family. Let me give you a good example. Half of you here who are kidding yourself to work and send those people money back home. Somebody from my hometown, the man, used to work extremely hard, help his sister, his brother, all those family things. He used to help them. Guess what? Now the papa is sick. He can no longer work. What happened? Those people that he used to send money to, now they're shifting. They now go to a different family member because their men can no longer meet their needs. And that's all they're doing. If you can no longer give it to them, they go to somebody else. I'm telling y'all that here in America or abroad, anywhere that you're working, we don't, we don't want to, it's not that we don't want to save. It's that guilty conscience. Oh, the people back home, you know, because we've been through war, it's not easy back home. The people are suffering. Yes, people are suffering, but some people... They don't need any help. Some people do need any help. Well, if or when you are getting the help, 
utilize the money that they're giving you to build yourself up. You don't just sit when they send you money, you go to a bar all night from this club, sending bar to, I don't know, two, three, one. You're going to all this club, the calabash and all this thing. You're having all this fun. Then we're just here working every day. We just want to work. Make sure our check is up there. Making sure our check is up there to meet our expenses here and also to be able to send money back home. But now that this papi been sick, who's helping him? No one. Your papi been sick. They don't call him anymore. His son has to go and get him to go live with him. Take this papi now. Send him to Liberia. I'm not even going to talk about other country. Send this man. Who has been helping the family he's been the breadwinner of the family back home now he's sick send him home and see how many will, how many people will show up to his door to help him even though they don't have job they don't do anything but trust and believe nobody will show up to help him send him home the papa will suffer there until he die god forbid it's not gonna happen but they won't help but when you go to Africa with money, everybody wants to wash your clothes. They want to come do this. They won't come cook. They won't come do that. Go home with nothing and see how many people will show up to your door to say they want to come help you. They will not. People loyalty stop where the financial, where the financial assistance stop. When they don't get, they don't care. The moment that they're getting, they will pray for you, say all these good things about you once you are helping. Some people mean what they say, but some people they just say. I was telling my friend the last time I talking about I bring people sometimes they pray and then they can get people saying, I don't think you're working. You say, say I'm foolish. It's not foolishness. So someone they pray and they can't work because someone they pray and they can be given to people, you don't mean them. You don't mean they pray and you can just say it because the money kind of thank you. God bless you while you are still working. Invest your money. While be talking, buy land. If you have money, or when you have money, after you pay your bills, if you have extra left, after you're saving, buy land. And back home nowadays, people taking payment plans. Especially the best time to buy land in Africa is rainy season because businesses are not going, people are broke, so you get land for a very cheap price. Now, buy a land when you can. Start building small, small. Possible, when possible. Start building small, small. Let this man now. Th this is reality. I am not joking. I just don't want to call name because this is somebody who, who is close to a lot of people. I can't just talk about him or say his name. But this person is from my own county or from my district. Okay. I don't want to say name for uh, privacy sake. But we can use this as an example, especially some of us who are still young and still working. They will always need help. A beggar will never stop begging until the giver stop giving. Once somebody asks, you're always doing it, they will always ask. Mm-hmm. Now that it, this man is down, who is calling him for help? The attention has turned somewhere else to another family member. So that's why I always say, people that always say, oh, put your spouse on, on, on allowance, put this one, this one. No. I used to. I'm not going to lie about that. I used to. But my thing is, uh -uh, there's a saying. Fly were living, right? Flies. They were living before door ear caught. Plus you, minus you. The people will still live. Send money or not, they will still survive. Now that this man, I'm using this man as an example because this is what actually happening. This is reality. Now that this man is sick, those people that he should send money to, how are they surviving now? Before they will call him, right, and cry on him. Oh, my child is sick. There's no tuition. They don't have food. This man is not working. Who is paying their tuition now? 
Who is paying their children's tuition? Who's putting food on their table? Who is paying their rent? Plus, you manage you, they will live. Their money or not, they will not die. So now, please use this thing. If your family member wants money from you, tell them, oh, I have a little work on my project site there. Can you please help me to go and do it? If they do it, you give them money. If they don't do it, you don't have money. Because somebody that needs help, if, if you can help them, when you need help, they should be able to help you. It's not one way. They feel like we just, the fact that we're in America, that means we don't have problems. The fact that we're in America, that means the money is always here. If you're paying other people to do a work like your brother can do for you, then you say, I should, I should, I should buy you food. I should buy your family food. It's not going to happen. Because the money that I'm giving people out there, I could give you that money for you to do the work. But you don't want to do nothing. You guys don't want to do anything. So my auntie, my uncles, my brothers and sisters abroad. Your family back home will not die if you don't send them money. Nothing will happen to them. If you die today, God forbid, they will still live, right, without you. And they will do just fine. If you fall sick tomorrow and find yourself in a hospital, they will not come help you here. You got to be able to sustain yourself. But if you're taking all your money, we're taking all our money and sending it back home, helping family, and we don't even have a saving for ourselves. And when you fall sick tomorrow, the first six months, we're not even able to pay our bills on our own. As the money coming, you pay your bills, the rest go Africa. Me, myself, I'm in it. I'm not exempted. But little by little, myself, I'm adjusting a lot of things. Y'all, please do. Your man has say in the Africa, the America, yeah, you're just where, 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 where. Especially our older folks, my parents, pa. Hmm. If they watch the video, they will be angry. That's all they do. That's all they know. My children suffering and your brother ain't there. You're not going to send anything. They say two days, three days now, no food in the house. Everybody crying. I'll be telling them, if your dad tomorrow, who will send your children money? I know, not me. God oh, forbid. If my mom and, and dad, if they pass away, my brother and they were crying down there. They not get food. They come in there four days. They not eat three days. They not eat. Who's going to do that? Not me. Maybe my brother's in here. Not me. You'll take care of yourself. You'll save your money now. My auntie here too, suffering. The woman getting old, she not even know that she's getting old because the fact that she wakes up every day to go to work, she feels it, she's still strong. But one day, it will just hit when she can no longer do all these things. All her children in Africa, who will help her here? And their children, and I can't stand on their own. Years later, the Oma still has to be sending their money. If the Oma can no longer work it, they send her to Africa and she go to Africa on her own. You're seeing children, you keep babying. They will not be able to take care of you. They won't because you're not teaching them to be able to stand on their own so that when anything happens here tomorrow, they will be able to take care of you. You're not doing it. You won't baby them because no work no jobs in Africa, no jobs in Liberia. So you want to baby, you want to baby them. I want to take that mm -hmm. That's all I have to say, my people. Know that plus you minus you, your family will live. Know that when you fall sick here tomorrow, if you're not able to meet your needs, I don't know what's going to happen. You become homeless. And if you go home, those children that you're babying, when y'all go home, they won't be able to take care of y'all. Your own children and show that they love y'all because you far away, you're sending them money. When y'all go over there, they will not take care of y'all. I say since seven, oh man, leave me, man. We not get money here today. No food, money, no food. We not get this, we not get that. That all you'll be hearing now, your teach your children, let them go work. The money, the money we're paying 
so people to do simple things then for us they could do those things if people go work they can go there what are you handing their hammer you handing you are doing something you're not just sitting home you stay home you don't get nothing and you say you don't want to go purchase that for somebody to get ten dollars it better you go home without ten dollars a day then you sit on your butt to the house in the name of and i won't go what kind of job the petty petty job petty petty job can feed you poor and proud people they're planting in africa and god forbid if life take a turn can we survive within the next six months without being able to go to work and still meet all our bills within six months or at least a year half of us no half of us we don't have saving that when life crisis happen when life crisis happen that we'll be able to cover our bill or cover our expenses for six months to one year we don't please think about it slow down this money sending back home take care of yourself have a little saving even if it's 75 dollars out of your check put it away every two weeks 100 dollars out of your check put it away every two weeks it's going to be helpful you send a hundred dollar there the people will use it at the following week you will send it again a beggar will never stop begging until they give us stop giving anyway that's all i have to say today guys with that being said have a nice day um stay tuned for my next video until then bye